subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Good morning friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Sarabdus Sattar Khan. 11th English, first term, salt paper, question answer, 50 marks, state board, salt paper hai, Gyarvi Jamaat ka, English state board. Question number one ka ee hai, read the first activity and read the extract and then do all the activities. Question number one ka ee one hai, complex factual global understanding activity. Write whether the following statements are true or false, correct the false statements. Its answer is in the first the author is an example of reverse migration, true. Second, the author felt exhausted as he examined his moong fields, false. Three, Moro Dada said that the moong should be planted at once, true. Fourth, the author was well prepared to plant moong in his fields, false. Corrected sentences say the author felt ex exhilarated as he examined his moong fields. Fourth, the author was still trying to figure out what he should, he could sow. Question number one ka E1 hai, the first crop. It was April 2004, I stood in the middle of the lush green field of moong green gram and looked around me. It was just before sunrise and the sky was turning a bright orange. The ground was damp and the leaves were shining with dew. My bare feet were muddy as I walked around gingerly inspecting the plants. Around me were rows of chiku trees and below a dense foli foliage of moong. At that point I could not have asked for anything more. The moong plants not more than two feet tall had green pots hanging out. The pots were not yet ripe and there was a light fuzz growing on them. There was still some time before the harvest. I felt exhilarated. I stood watching the sunrise above the towering trees across the fence and slowly made my way back to the house, a white structure in the middle of this greenery. I could not believe that I was the owner of this land and that I was looking at my first crop. As a farmer, after I had paid the advance money for the land, I thought I would have some time to get familiar with farming. But Moru Dada, the broker who got us the land, had other ideas. He was keen that we plant moong at once. I was not prepared for this. I was still reading books and trying to figure out what we could sow and how we should go about it. Moru Dada was quite firm. He said the season was right for sowing moong and the best seeds were available in Surat in the adjacent state of Gujarat. A2 activity hai inference interpretation. Complete the following is answers directly diye gaye hain. The writer was reluctant to sow moong because first he wanted time to, to get familiar with farming. Second he was still is answer he was still reading books and trying to figure out what he could sow and how. Moru Dada felt that is answer the season was right for sowing moong. Second the best seeds were available in Surat. A3 activity hai conclusion guessing. Describe the scene on the farm and give reasons for the author's feeling of happiness. His answer hai, it was just before sunrise. The sky was turning a bright orange. The ground was damp and the leaves were shining with dew. The author was walking barefoot in his lush green field of moong. Inspecting the plants around him there were rows of chiku trees and below were the leaves of the moong plant with the green pots having a light fuzz on them. There were big trees around. The author who had, who had quit his job in the IT industry to live on his farm was happy with the outcome of his decision. A4 activity have vocabulary in focus. Guess the meaning of the following words in the context. Lush, fuzz. Its answer is lush, growing luxury, luxuriantly thick. Fuzz means fine hair. Second, I find from the passage words related to agriculture. Minimum chart dikhna hai. Agriculture, field, moon, ground, leaves, plants, chikku trees, foliage, green pots, ripe, harvest, greenery, land, crop, farmer, farming, sow, season, seeds. A5 personal response. When you read the writer's description, do you wish to be on a farm yourself? This answer hai. Yes, I do. I like nature and greenery and the smell of wet earth. 
I like to see things grow. However, I think that I will get bored of it after some time and what and want to come back to the city with the malls and the movie theaters. A6 activity hai contextual grammar do as directed. Pick out a complex sentence from the extract and find the clauses. I could not believe that I was the owner of this land. Iska first time main clause hai I could not believe. Subordinate clause hai that I was the owner of this land. Fourth hai there was still some time before the harvest. Rewrite as a negative sentence. The harvest was not yet ready. Question number one ka uh, B section hai do as directed. Shivani found a small box and dropped her bangles inside. His answer hai rewrite the sentence beginning with finding. Finding a small box, Shivani dropped her bangles inside. Sunlight from the window made her black hair appear brown. Rewrite using that. Sunlight that came from the window made her black hair appear brown. Third, on the day the school closed for the summer, no student was more delighted than Rithik. Change the degree. His answer is, on the day the school closed for the summer, Rithik was the most delighted student. Superlative degree. His answer is, on the day the school closed for the summer, Rithik was more delighted than any other student. This is comparative degree. Hai. Question number 2 ka A. Hai. Read the extract and complete the activities given below. 12 marks. To me, a world without poverty means that every person would have the ability to take care of his or her own basic need, life needs. In such a world, nobody would die of hunger or suffer from malnutrition. Everybody in every part of the globe would have access to education and healthcare services because he or she would be able to afford them. Unlike today, the state would not be required to provide free or subsidized healthcare or schooling. All state organizations created to provide free or subsidized services for the poor would no longer be required and could be done away with. Thus, no need for welfare or local welfare agencies or the National Welfare Department. State-run safety net programs would have no rational for existence because no one would live on charity anymore. State-run social security programs Income support programs would be unnecessary. Nobody would be at the mercy of anyone else and that is what would make all the differences between the world without poverty and riddled with it. Finally, a poverty-free world would be economically much stronger and far more stable than the world today. One-fifth of the world's inhabitants would who today live a life of extreme poverty would become income earners and income spenders. They would generate extra demand in the market to make the world economy grow. They would bring their creativity and innovations into the marketplace to increase the world's productive capacity. Since nobody would ever become poor except on a temporary and limited basis, the economy would probably not go through extreme swings we would avoid boom and bust cycles and be able to surmount man-made disasters with greater ease. A1 activity hai global understanding. Correct the following statements with the help of the facts from the extract. Everybody in every part of the globe would have access to administration and social care services because he or she would not be able to afford them. Second, we would avoid boom and burst cycles and be able to surmount natural disaster with great ease. Is A2 activity hai complex fact factual activity hai complete the following statements. The situation in the world without poverty would be different because the state need not dash. Second, hai nobody dash. A3 hai inference interpretation analysis activity 2 marks. Find and write in the blank boxes. One-fifth of the world's inhabitants today live a life of extreme poverty. How would they economically stand in a poverty-free world? They would be income earners and income spenders. A4 personal response suggests at least four solutions to overcome the problem of increasing poverty. A5 language study do as directed to marks. Rewrite the following sentences in the ways instructed. Nobody would die of hunger or suffer from malnutrition. Convert the sentence to positive without changing its meaning. 
Everybody in every part of the globe would have access to education and healthcare services. We write the sentence beginning with education. A6 vocabulary, find out the words from the extract that mean the following. First, calamity. Two, overcome. Three, bringing new ideas. Four, financially. Answer say A1 ke answer hai. Everybody in every part of the globe would have to, would have access to education and healthcare services because he or she would be able to afford them. Second, we would avoid boom and bust cycles and be able to surmount man-made disasters with great ease. A2, the situation in a world without poverty would be different because first, ka hai, the state need not take care of anyone's basic life needs. Two, nobody would die of hunger or suffer from malnutrition. A3, hai, they would be income earners and income spenders. Its answer hai, they would generate extra demand in the market. They would bring creativity, increase world production. A4 ka answer hai, the problems of increasing poverty can be overcome by providing free and compulsory education to all irrespective of caste and creed. Second, encouraging the modern youth to bring their innovations and creativity into the marketplace. Third, improving family welfare programs and encouraging the two children idea. Fourth, cleaning up the political system and getting rid of corruption. A5 ka answer hai, first hai, the number of people who would die of hunger or suffer from malnutrition would be zero. Second ka answer hai, education and healthcare services would have been accessed by everybody in every part of the globe. A6 ka answer hai, calamity, disaster, overcome, surmount, bringing new ideas, innovation. Fourth hai, financially, economically. Question number 2 ka B hai, summary writing, 3 marks. Write a summary of the above extract with the help of the following points suggest a suitable title. Its answer is a poverty-free world. In a poverty-free world, every person would be able to take care of his or her own basic needs. This would mean that welfare agencies, subsidized services and social security programs would become non-necessary and could be done away with. Nobody would be at the mercy of anyone else. And those who are today poor would generate and spend more income. This would result in the steady growth of the economy. There would be few ups and downs and the world would be able to face disasters with greater ease. Question number 2 ka C hai. Complete the given blank spaces with the, your ideas in the figure that describe your basic preparation for the HSC board examination. Preparing for the HSC board examination through reading of all the textbooks. Its answer is through reading of all textbooks, writing practice for specific hours, preparing timetable, memorizing equations and formulae, allocating sufficient time for re revision, providing time for relaxation and physical exercise, going through the college notes and making condensed self notes. Question number 3 ka A hai, reading for comprehension, poetic devices and poetic creativity. Read the poem and complete the activities given below. Sitting in a porch way cool, sunlight I see dying fast, twilight hastens on to rule, working hours have well night passed, shadows run across the lands but a sower lingers still, old in rags he patient stands, looking on I feel a thrill, black and high his still hut, Dominates the furrows deep. Now to show the task is set, soon shall come a time to reap. Marches he along the plain, to and fro and scatters wide. From his hands the precious grain, muse I as I see him stride. Darkness deepens, fades the light. Now his gestures to mine eyes are august and strange. His height seems to touch the starry skies. Factual understanding A1 activity hai. Pick out from the poem the words that the poet uses to describe the sower, farmer, old, patient, slow, hardworking, confident, deci decisive, noble, hopeful, disappointed. Second hai, now to show the task is set. Who has set the task and who has to do it? The old farmer has set the task for himself. Though poor he is hardworking, he is his own master and decides what has to be done. A2 activity hai, interpretation understanding of poetic devices. The world marches suggests. 
the poet describes the peasant as someone who is in command of the land and fields around him the word marches he along the plain in the line indicates he is in charge of the place and controls the activities that take place there he knows what has to be done a3 appreciation personal response to light hasens on to rule explain your own words the daylight is fading and as the poet is watching the scene darkness is quickly blanketing the earth in its shadows a4 poetic creativity compose a poem on a farmer in four to six lines in continuation of the following he sweets he does not fret he sows to the soil he goes he sweets in the haze of the midday blaze he does not fret it if it forgets to rain he sows and plows over years and days to the soil he debos his mother the furrowed plain appreciation of the poem question number 3 ka b hai read the poem from the textbook then write the appreciation in about 150 words in paragraph format with the help of the following points about the poem the form and theme poetic style and language inspirational message special features your opinion and critical evaluation first about the poem poet and title the poem that is another sky by emily dickinson is one of concern for her brother it indicates that he is away elsewhere and may be going through dark times the poet speaks of a better place hopeful and cheering to which she suggests he should come back second i theme the theme is one of comparison of two places one is gloomy dim colorless and lonely the poet's brother may be in a place like this she describes a serene ever evergreen little forest under another sky with fresh flowers and humming bees it is untouched by forest and she tells him to come here three a poetic style language poetic devices used in the poem the poem is a is a petrarch and sonnet the octave describes the cold faded forest which the sestet speaks of the warm welcoming place the poet's little garden this kind of sonnet may have the rhyme scheme of a b b a a b b a c d c c d e or c d c d c d there may be variations also fourth special features when the poet refers to another sky and another sunshine the reader could interpret it as another world one wonders if the poet is describing heaven where it always serene and green and for frost has not touched the flowers which never fade the idea is only hinted at and we cannot be sure fifth the message values morals in the poem scansara the poem could be a message of hope it is a poem to entice the poet's brother back home it is a message to her brother who is away and would encourage him not to give up in case he was in despair this shows the poet was concerned about the well-being of her sibling six say your opinion about the poem the poem is short and is not difficult to understand but there seems to be layers of meaning the immediately obvious meaning and then the figurative interpretation if we look more deeply question number 4 ka a hai using information from the dialogue given below write the message which amrita left for her brother surjit do not leave out any vital information or add any new information shekhar is this telephone number amrita yes me i know who is speaking shekhar i am shekhar i want to speak to surjit i am his friend from iihm goa amrita i am his sister surjit is not at home at the moment can you ring up a little later shekhar i shall be a little busy actually i have get place i have got placement at the hotel mumbai and will have to join with immediate effect so right now i am trying to get all the formalities completed this is the news that i wanted to give surjit will you do that for me also tell tell him that i will let him know my new cell number as soon as i get funds amrita i'll do that bye and all the best amrita had to leave for office so she wrote a note for surjit draft her message in not more than 50 words 30th september 8:30 am surjit 
Your friend Shekhar called up to say that he was got placement in hotel Mumbai. He is at present busy getting all the formalities done. He said he would give you his new cell number as soon as he gets it. Amrita. Question number four ka B hai. Read the following advertisement and prepare a letter of application to be sent by email. Situation vacant wanted a computer engineer. Candidate must have passed B in computer engineering. Experience holder will be preferred. Write giving details to email armancom about gmail.com. Email ka answer hai to armancom about gmail.com. Subject application for the post of computer engineer. Sir, madam, I have recently passed my B in computer engineering. From JLM College, Engineering College, Ratnagiri with a pass percentage of 61. I also have three months of experience developing software for Pragati Electronics in Ratnagiri. The project was for the maintenance of accounts of MHEL Private Limited. I do hope that you will consider me for appointment in your esteemed company. I shall be able to arrange my own accommodation in Pune. I anticipate an early call for an interview. My details are in the CV that I have attached. I assure you of dedicated service should I be considered for the post. Yours truly X, Y, Z. Question number 5. Ka A. State the difference between drama and novel. Its answer is drama is a medium of expression whereby performers expression express themselves arti artistically. The performance is based on a script which is in the form of the dialogue. Whereas a story or a novel is written in the narrative form. Agla Sawal differentiate between children and dramatization and characterization. The characters in a play are the protagonist who is in the main character and the other major and minor characters. Characterization is the fresh, is a fleshing out of the personality of the characters, revealing their peculiarities, values, feelings, etc. It is to gain insight into their personalities and establish connection with them. Ummeed aapko hamara video pasand aaya hoga. Agle video mein dobara mulaqat hogi. Khuda hafiz.